So today I'm going to show some things I got in the Sephora VIB sale and I hope you'll join me. Hey everyone, it's Melissa. So today I'm going to talk about what I got at the Sephora VIB sale and there are two items that I will talk about that hasn't, haven't come in yet. But um, I did get some things and I told you I did a video before last of what I was going to order so I thought it would follow through and show you what I ordered and kind of go on from that. I've opened everything up. We'll kind of look at it together. But um, the thing that hasn't come in is my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the color Santa Fe. And there's a little story behind that. And it has gotten really cloudy, so I hope you can still see me pretty clearly. But here's the story behind the NARS Foundation. So I had to go to Knoxville I was out of the NARS. I was getting ready to order it from the Sephora sale. So I went to, so I had to go to Knoxville to the doctor and I stopped at Ulta on the way back home uh, to return something that just didn't quite work out. So I thought, well, I'm getting ready to order that NARS foundation. They've got it right here. Let me use my credit that I got to go ahead and buy the NARS foundation. So I did. And then the next day when I went to use it, it, it was different. I talked about it on Instagram. So the foundation is a, it's, it's a nice overall medium foundation. So I shook it and I thought, well, that sounds a lot more watery. And you know, you could hear it shaking. And so I did, did it on my hand. Usually I do two to three pumps on my hand. And you know, it sits, kind of sits there nicely. I did one pump and it ran down my, it ran down my palm. For, oh crap well they have changed it you know something has happened so I put it on my face and I had to go over it again today with my tinted serum from Catrice because I just did not like the way it looked it looked almost greasy it, it's thinner it looked greasy not that I know of has NARS changed the formula. They haven't announced it, but this was different. Now, could it have gotten in the sun during packing, you know, on their way to Ulta? Could it anything have happened? You know, it just was a dud or a lemon of a bottle. I don't know. So what I did was I ordered another bottle at the Sephora VIB sale when I kind of got back. If it's this, if it's, you know, back to the normal ones, then I'll just figure that that one was a dud. If it's still the same, then I'm going to have to probably go back to the Lancome uh, Stick Foundation or use the Catrice a lot more uh, because this is a darn good foundation. It's better than what I've been trying all week. So that's kind of the update on the NARS. I will see what happens with that and let you know because I have talked and talked and talked about it. Okay, I kind of move myself up a little bit. I felt down, like I was down a little bit low. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on the things that I did buy. Okay, I bought, I just, ever since I started using that Boom Boom Cream in the jar, I talked about it on that video, on my upper arms, I've just noticed the biggest difference. I get to get started this week on my weights again and my arm exercises because it's been enough time that I can start building my arms back up again. But this, the Boom Boom Cream, has really helped to with the crepiness. When I bought it, I had got it at the same time in a set uh, with some of the body wash, and so I ordered a great big thing of the body wash. I like it. I like that body wash. I used my, you know, the small little thing until I didn't have any more. I put water in it. And I kept using it. Put more water in it. And kept using it. I really like it a whole lot. So I thought I'm going to use this, you know, use the discount and get a great big one. And I'm curious to see how long it'll last me. But I love this. I love the scent. I love the way it makes my body feel. I feel like. It improves my skin all over. Even though it's just a body wash, I felt like my skin was better when I was using it. And then I ran out and I felt like my skin kind of got yucky again. Uh, so I don't know. I think there might be something for my skin anyway with the Boom Boom or with the yellow products from, uh, this is from Sol de Janeiro, from the Sol de Janeiro products. I really, really like this body wash. Okay, I got some more of the Spray to Mode 
use it every time I do my hair, every time I do a curling iron, every time I do hot rollers, every time today I just I shampooed my hair this morning, threw some Velcros in. That's all I did. I just sprayed it with some spray to mode and then it's it's a working hairspray so it doesn't make it stiff. It gives it some hold without being stiff. So wanted more of that. I bought some more of the my cleanser, my Shiseido cleansing, uh, clarifying cleansing foam. Never want to be without it. I love it. Shiseido has such good cleansers. Oh, they're so good. Uh, I bought my Fluff Up Brow Wax. I love this from Benefit. It makes your eyebrows just, like I said, it makes them fluffy like you've blow dried your eyebrows, like you've taken a little brush and blow dried them up or something. I just, it makes them real, not stiff. It makes them full and fluffy looking. <laughs> I really like it. I know <laughs> your eyebrows being blow dried, but it, I like them. And then I also got the Precision My Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is the color three Warm Light Brown. Um, yeah, it matches. It does a really good job of, you know, matching my eyebrow color. So really like that. There's some new things I ordered, so I'm gonna go over those last. So yesterday was my birthday, and so when I got my order, I got my birthday gift for the month, and I, I picked out the one from Kosis. It is a lip oil and a, and a, a, brow, a brow gel, a brow gel. So this is the, oh, it's got a little tiny, little tiny brush. Now, I like my wax that fluffs, so. <laughs> hey, that's nice. I like it. Let's see how it dries and see, but I like that a lot. Oh, that's nice. I think it makes them look blow dried too. Okay, and then, then I got a lip oil from Kosis. Let's see what this lip oil does. This is what it looks like. Feels good. It smells good. I like that. It's pretty. Feels good. I like that. I'll use this. So this was a good little birthday gift. Um, I like the brow thing too. And I like that lip oil. Feels really good. It smells good. You know, it's up next to your nose, so it smells good. Okay, I like that. So, I ordered from Rare Beauty. I told you all that I watch Only Murders in the Building, and I love, for some reason, Selena Gomez. I just think she's so appealing, and her voice, I mean, like I said, she may be an awful person. I don't know anything at all about her, but her voice and her manner on there, I just, it's real, it's just real cute or something. And I like her voice. So I thought, I'm going to order something from her line. So I ordered, actually ordered two things. So this is new to me. This is her eyeliner. And it is the Perfect Strokes Eyeliner Gel. And it's in the color Compassion. Now the reason I ordered this, I've got stuff all over the palm of my hand. Okay, the reason I ordered this, I love the Victoria Beckham Bordeaux liner, but it's, it's very, very expensive. So I wanted to see how this one would compare. So it's a kind of a burgundy color too. So there's this one. That's the Rare Beauty one. Now this one is the one, the Bordeaux from Victoria Beckham. They look really close. I don't know about on camera, but in person, they look really close. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my liner and try it. I'm gonna try it in my waterline, see how easily it goes off on because the Victoria Beckham just goes on like that, it glides on. Okay, it's a little roll up, but oh, you can't roll it back down. That's the bad thing about it. You can't roll it back down when you roll it up. Okay, let's see what, what it does. It is hard to get anything to show up. I don't know about this. This may be a failure. Let me get, I'm just gonna have to let, let me get my mirror close. Okay, I've gone back and forth and back and forth. Let me, now let me see the Victoria Beckham. 
I feel like the Victoria Beckham is easier to put on and shows up better. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side sometime this week and see which one goes on better, which one shows the most color, and which one lasts the best. But if I can get that to work, that would save me a lot of money. But I love the Victoria Beckham liners. Anyway, going to give that a try, the Rare Beauty. We'll see. Okay, the next one by Rare Beauty is a, a travel size, a mini of her blush. But now, I was going to like to a dot here, dot, a dot here, and a dot there. And people said in the comments, don't do that. Don't do that because it is very pigmented and a little goes a long way. So let's try this and see. Let me wipe off. All right, let's see what we got going here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on, put here on my wrist. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, that, yeah, it does. It's a very pigmented. Yeah, one dot does both cheeks, doesn't it? Well, that little mini will last me a long time, won't it? Boy, it is pigmented, isn't it? But boy, that's a pretty color. I like that. Gives a nice little glow without, you know, looking too disco-y. Mm, that's nice. I like it. I like that a lot. This is her Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush in the color Happy. I was needing a nice pink. Uh, it's not showing up, I think, quite as pink because I already had some blush on underneath it that I couldn't quite get off, but I wanted to see what it looked like. I like that a lot. Okay, now I got a lipstick on the recommendation of my friend Renee. She said, I love Renee. And she said that she really likes this lipstick a whole lot. So I thought, well, I'm going to try it. Now, I've got another lipstick coming that my friend Karen recommended. But this one's from Anastasia. Uh, and it is in the color Taupe Beige. Let me go take off this lipstick. That lip oil feels, feels good. I like that. That feels really nice. Okay, let me line my lips. So I'm going to line my lips in MAC Spice. Okay. Kind of fill in the inside edges a little bit. Now, let's, let's look at this color. I've got so much stuff all over my head. <laughs> okay, let's look at this color. Ooh, that's pretty. It's about the color of spice. Ooh, I like that. That's a pretty lipstick. I like it a lot. Yeah, I'll use this up for sure. Thank you, Renee. Yeah, you really came through in the recommendation. I really like this a whole lot. Okay, so is that it? I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful upcoming week. I've got more doctor's appointments. It seems like all my doctor's appointments are coming at the same time. But uh, be sure and like and subscribe and give the thumbs up and everything. I have been doing some practice knitting, some practice filming me knitting with my hands because you have to kind of do the camera over you and put your hands on a table and knit that way to show how I knit my washcloths. And um, so I'm finishing up the washcloth so I can show how to cast off and finish, finish it up. And then I will uh, hopefully turn that into a video. But uh, it's a little bit harder than, than you think because it, the camera would be behind me so I couldn't see. And then I would look at the camera and my hands would be like way over here. You know, I would gradually start moving my hands. So I'll try. I'm trying because I, that would be a very different video for me and lots of fun. It was good to get back knitting again. Uh, I've, and I went ahead and picked out some patterns for some summer sweaters and summer tops and stuff that I think I might try to start knitting again if I can find the time. But anyway, thank you so much. Take care. I appreciate y'all so much. I really do. So talk to y'all in a couple of days. Bye-bye.